80 shots up on the season. You, you got to go get some in Bud Walton today. You got to find a way. Your team's got two points. It's almost the end of the first quarter. There's the quickness from Daniels, earning an and one, our first hoop of the contest off 31 against Vandy a few days ago. Well, that was a good move. She's, she's strong with the basketball. Michaela's been around a long time from Frederick, Maryland. She scooped it up and scores, draws the foul. We know she's a good free throw shooter. But if it's out on you, you got to grab it, and she let it go on purpose, and then they give it to Arkansas. Poffenbarger spinning, hanging, shooting, and scoring. Oh. Hawks have won eight straight against Mizzou. Chrissy Carr gets the triple. I'm out for Missouri. Chris, that's what Arkansas tries to do. They run to spot. Women's basketball, it really is. Women's basketball is still a game that's, you know, fighting. Let's have as much parity as you can have. Oh, we'll score at one. See, i got to tell you what, Chrissy Carr doesn't drive much to the basket, right. but I bet she's done that seven or eight times, where in one dribble she can cover about 18 feet and get to the rim and finish. Yeah, absolutely. She's a pretty good athlete. Her dad was a tremendous athlete. And if you just watch that clip right there, you would think she's a driver. Sarah Spencer back to the basket move. That was really nice offense by Missouri. Poffenbarger hits the three. She kind of needs that. Get her confidence back going, get her rolling. Doesn't take a lot of bad shots. Uh, she, she drove hard to the basket. Yeah, she drove hard. They're Spencer. Catch her. That's a run out touchdown. Samara Spencer from end to end. Shot clock shut up. Arkansas can take it down for the final look. How fast will they go? Michaela Daniels dropped it in. And Arkansas with a 31 13 halftime lead. It's a good way to finish the half for the Razorbacks on a sluggish struggle for both teams offensively. Yeah. Probably should have gotten to know Dad. He runs a distillery. Oh, really? Yeah, we could, wow. we could put in a couple of orders yeah. and for I you. Keep, keep up with her older brother. He's the quarterback at the University of Albany. That's How right. about that? Great Dane. There's Chrissy Carr. She'll reign in her second triple of the game. In fact, shoot it. Langerman into the paint. There's Barnum. She's going right. to size up a three. <laughs> Suey's looking good always. Uh-oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. here this we go. Here we're going to help you out. What Suey, could, yep. Yeah, what could possibly go wrong? Huh? <laughs> I like it. That's good. That's good. That's great stuff right there. Hawks have one player in double figures. That's Barnum. And she is on the bench oh. for the time being. Wow. How about that? They go on. In, I would say, press. I would say in defense, this is not a game that needs any more turnovers oh, than what we've already had. At 39. Wow. Judd was right there. Maybe Judd didn't know her level of shooting. Judd was there, but she dropped her arms back. Mm -hmm. It was earlier this week, Z, in this uh, women's game that UConn lost at Marquette. It was the first time Incredible. they had a two-game losing streak since March of 93. It's Chrissy Carr hits another one. Carr is at five triples and 18 points. Yeah, 